All right, if you own Meta or Facebook stock, it is incredibly important to understand what's going on right now with Instagram. Yes, 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 Instagram. So here's an article right here. Instagram is walking back its changes for now. Adam Mosseri, the head of Instagram, explains why. Now, the reason we have to talk about this is because Facebook just reported their earnings and things weren't amazing. I mean, they beat or they 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 slightly missed on revenue, so that was okay. Uh, daily active users went up a little bit, monthly active users went down a little bit, but overall wasn't the most impressive, uh, impressive quarter. And one of the things that the company and the shareholders are worried about in the context of the company is if the metaverse strategy is gonna play out. So taking aside the metaverse and assuming that that's not gonna play out and that you have a decade at least to figure out until 2030 if it's even profitable or makes sense, the question then becomes what is going to work? And Instagram, is just announcing some of the things that may work or may not work, and I think it's important to be able to analyze this. Instagram will walk back some recent changes to the product following a week of mounting criticism the company said today. A test version of the app that opened to full screen photos and videos will be phased out over the next one or two weeks, and Instagram will also reduce the number of recommended posts in the app as it works to improve its algorithms. Now, why is this important? TikTok is eating Instagram's lunch. It's providing a better user experience, providing better discovery of content, and creators are going there because they feel as if they can actually find discovery on that platform. Adam Mosseri, the head of Instagram, a couple of weeks ago said that they're going to be transitioning to be more like TikTok, giving full screen video and giving more recommended content that's not from the social graph, which is what uh, Instagram has historically been, but rather from interest graphs, meaning your more algorithmically tailored posts that came from anywhere. He says, I'm glad we took a risk. If we're not feeling every once in a while, we're not thinking big enough or bold enough, but we definitely need to take a big step back and recoup. When we've learned a lot, then we can come back with a sort of new idea iteration. So we're going to work through that. When he says we're going to come back and we're going to walk back our steps, He's talking about how they were going to implement more TikTok style type of feeds within Instagram, but then they decided to walk back. Now, why did they decide to walk back? Because Kylie Jenner and her sister Kim Kardashian posted memes asking the company to make Instagram Instagram again. And uh, OK, it's not going to show up here. But basically, when they when they posted that, there was a feed. There was a post on their story saying, hey, Instagram needs to be more about Instagram, about friends, not like TikTok, where it's all about, you know, recommended pieces of content. Now, you would imagine why Kylie Jenner is also saying this, because when you have recommended pieces of content, it is more meritocratic. It is harder to become discovered on the platform. That's the whole point of it. Uh, or it's easier to become discovered on the platform because now you have anyone sh sh point showing up in the feed. Whereas if you already have an existing following base and Instagram is just showing your followers where's your content, then, you know, you get to retain that attention at the end of the day. You don't have to like uh, compete with newer creators that are coming out. So obviously they were not uh, a fan of it, but nonetheless, you know, the entire user base or a lot, a, a strong majority of the user base of Instagram is just feeling that the redesign is creating a wrath, right? It's creating people who are hostile to change. Uh, now they also said for the new feed designs, people are frustrated and the usage data isn't great. He said, so I think there, we do need to take a big step back, regroup and figure out what we want to move forward, which highlights the type of uncertainty than meta mark zuckerberg and facebook currently is now on the on the earnings account they said currently uh recommended post counts for about 15 percent of what you see when you browse facebook and an even higher percentage on instagram by the end of 2023 that figure will be about 30 percent zuckerberg said which means three out of every 10 posts you get on instagram will and facebook will be recommended pieces of content content from creators you have never seen before content that is new content that is fresh and content that you should be able to discover they also said, when you discover something in your feed that you didn't follow before, there should be a high bar. It should be just great. You should be delighted to see it. And I think that's not happening enough right now. So I think we need to take a step back in terms of the percentage of feed that are recommendations, get better at ranking in recommendations, and then if and when we do, we can start to grow again. I'm confident we will, he added. Now, why is this incredibly important to talk about if you own Metastock? This to me is the existential breaking point that Facebook is having and either they're going to recover for it or they're not going to recover from it. The problem that I've seen that Facebook's having right now is that people are not using the product as much as they were using the product in the context of the quality of usage they're getting out of the Facebook app. Now, Instagram is the one thing that I believe is saving Facebook because the millennial generation, not Gen Z, but millennials still are using that product to connect with their friends, connect with their family. And as a result, they can be sold ads and, you know, fuel Zuckerberg's $30 billion per quarter ad empire. The problem is Facebook doesn't have that same utility. And as a result of that, because Facebook doesn't have that same utility and Instagram has that utility, if Instagram does not become more engaging to the Zen Z's of, or the Gen Z of the world and, and then the newer creators that exist, then it's going to be incredibly difficult, in my opinion, for Instagram to compete with something like a TikTok. TikTok got 57 million downloads in Q2 of 2022. It's the highest download app across the world. It is only getting stronger and stronger. People are only using it more and more and more. And it's only giving more and more discovery to creators, which is the thing that creators care about. Meaning when I post a piece of content, does my content actually show up in someone else's feed? 
as a result of Instagram actually not being able to do what TikTok is doing, Instagram has to copy TikTok. And if it's trying to copy TikTok and it's going away from its core competency, which is being this app that allows you to share photos and, and have conversations with friends, then it's becoming more of a content distribution entertainment play, which is what TikTok was. But TikTok never wanted to be, uh, you know, an Instagram connect with your friends. It always wanted to be something different. When Instagram wanted to be a connect with your friends thing and is choosing to do something different, that's where you get the disconnect, especially when it just feels like you're copying something that's already working. And if you're copying something that's already working and it's not going to be as good, then, you know, you might as well use a thing that's already good at doing what it does. This is different than Instagram copying Snapchat in 2016. When Instagram copied Snapchat in 2016, the whole idea was uh, taking stories but your stories didn't matter uh, if they were on Snapchat or Instagram because it mattered where your friends were because stories is an inherently friend oriented product. So if Instagram already had all your friends and they add a new feature that's based on your friends, then they could steal that feature pretty easily and it doesn't really matter. Now that didn't kill Snapchat, but that definitely hurt Snapchat a bit because stories were you know, a great tool to connect on Instagram. TikTok and algorithmic curation of content is much more different. It has nothing to do with friends, which means you have to re-engineer your AI and your algorithms to be sophisticated enough to actually recommend content at scale. And if you can't do that, you're not going to have an easy time to win. So overall, I think that Facebook has got to figure out what do they want to do? They Do they want to play into the TikTok world and truly be a recommendations product, which isn't the worst thing for creators, but might be the worst thing for their user base because that's not what their user base is using it for. Or do they want to shift back to what they originally set out to be and just have Gen Z, which are hundreds of millions of people eventually not use the product because they find more value in using TikTok because TikTok's just a better way of engaging with the audience. So it's an interesting thing. And if you own Metastock, I'm incredibly interested to know what you guys think about the product and what you guys think about what's going to go in the future of the product, along with the fact that if the metaverse is not working, Zux really needs to figure out what he's going to do with Instagram. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Looking forward to see it. I'll see you in the next one.